I'm Ed Berger, president of Hutchinson Community College, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this momentous occasion at our institution, the dedication of the Bob and Lou Peel Allied Health Training Center. This program will serve programs in respiratory therapy, physical therapy assistant, health information technology, and search tech. These programs link with the programs we have over here in Davis Hall with nursing and radiology, provide a true allied health training complex. Something truly unique in the state of Kansas. You wouldn't have something like this in Kansas or really any place in the Midwest. A facility like this doesn't just happen. It happens because of the efforts of a wide number of people within this community. Efforts by the entire community to make this a reality. What Ed and the community here has done is created a fabulous facility in Allied Health so that if you're a student, either past high school or in high school, you can come here, uh, get technical certification, be able to move out into the health career workforce and have a career and help people and help your family. I want to congratulate uh, the community of Hutchison for being so forward leaning on these uh, programs. These are fabulous. They're going to help a lot of people. They're going to help your community, this state, and nation. Congratulations. God bless you for doing it. As has been said by Ed before, something like this just didn't happen on its own. But I want to add one little thing to what Ed says that he forgot to say. It takes visionary leadership as well as strong and committed trustees, generous donors, and a committed community and supportive community for these kinds of projects to happen. And if you haven't been in there yet, you're getting ready to be excited. One other thing I want to note to you while I have a chance today is this. The programs to be offered in this facility are critical to meeting the workforce needs, not only of your community and region, but also to our entire state. I want to say a special thanks to Governor Brownback for the initiative that he's uh, proposed and en enacted that has really lifted the importance of technical education and technical training and really have provided impetus for projects like this, even though this one is probably one of the most comprehensive I've ever seen. And the other thing for us to realize is that this not only will help our future students, but ultimately what it's going to do is help health care for every one of us here. It's people who are going to be trained, who are going to be out working in the health care fields that will serve each and every one of us. The next person is the reason we're here today. We celebrate not only his generosity, but that of his entire family. An individual who, with his wife Lou, <coughs> built an empire. He built it the old-fashioned way, with hard work, customer service, and a healthy dose of creativity. An individual who I think everybody would agree is the ultimate entrepreneur. Please stand and welcome Bob Peel. And I would ask the members of his family also wait for you to be recognized. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen and friends, for being here for Lou's, Lou's I call this Lou's building. And I'll take a mine in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to Governor Brown back to know how we feel in Hutchinson, Kansas, about this junior college. We have a lot of junior colleges in this state, much more than my son's got in Nebraska. But this is the best damn junior college in the state. Work with and we're very pleased by what you see here 
here today. But let me tell you why we're here. Lou Peel is the reason the driving force behind the Peel family. And uh, it's her goal, her idea. She sold me on it. She sold Bobby on it. She sold Billy on it. So this is really could have been called the Lou Peel deal. They had to have someone sign the checks to put money on it. <laughs>